the interest at stake seemed to be the humanitarian interest. This was really what he claimed, and he put it in the context, Laura, of this issue of American exceptionalism. It was rather an astonishing uh, presentation. He's a great communicator, our president, and he was very powerful in saying that some nations may be able to turn a blind eye to atrocities in other countries. The United States of America is different. It was the image of the U.S. as the shining city on a hill. When all others stand by and watch, we are the ones who act. The problem is it's wrong. We turn a blind eye all the time. And worse than that, we actually keep in power and we arm these dictators throughout the Middle East region, where it's really where the, this up, uprising is, is happening right now. We're the ones who keep them in power and provide them with the weapons to go after their own people. So the notion that we should somehow, in the context of Libya, accept this idea that it's purely for humanitarian purposes, when the U.S. has said nothing about the atrocities going on in, uh, in, in Yemen, the atrocities going on in Bahrain. And keep in mind, the issue is not just, so why aren't we sending troops to Bahrain? Of course, we should not send troops to Bahrain. But what we should do is stop sending them money and arms and say, you know, that fifth fleet that we've been paying you rent for, we're taking it away. We're going to find someplace else. And in Yemen, the point isn't that we should be sending troops to Yemen. Of course not. But we should not be sending $300 million a year to the Yemeni president and military support so that he can go about the business of suppressing his own uprising. But the Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our show available free to public television stations. We need your help to express your opinion. If you'd like to see the show where you live on public television, call your local station and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders.